Ziel. Yeah, definitely. The start was hugely disappointing. I think um, maybe the early goal rocked us psychologically. I don't know. Um, but we really struggled to deal with Arsenal in that opening half an hour. They moved the ball well, but we were too far off. We struggled um, in our duels. We didn't win enough tackles. All the basics, really. There wasn't anything more than that. Once we recovered, I thought we were fine and the better team in the second half but it was too late and the first ball my goal for Sam Surridge what's that going to do for him do you think yeah, I think it'll do a lot for him I think he's a goal scorer he always has scored goals youth teams development squads gone out on loan done really well um, and that's a typical Sam goal just in the right place at the right time so uh, yeah delighted for him people will say going out of the cup now might be a blessing in disguise given the games ahead in the Premier League do you agree with that I don't look at it like that I want to win every game I'm very very disappointed um, I can never have that mentality. I think once that sinks into whatever competition you're in, it's not the right way to think. We're here to win and uh, we're disappointed. Hey, the, the way the teams will set up tonight, whatever, a little bit of a surprise, what do you think of Ryan up front? Yeah, I, don't, I don't think Ryan did too bad. I thought it was, the, team, the team wasn't good. It was just something we wanted to look at just in case our strikers we were so thin on the ground, got injured. Can Ryan play up front for us? He's done it before. Um, but I don't think it was anything to do with his individual performance. The, the team behind him, we, we weren't good enough. So I think you could have had anyone up there. I don't think we would have seen the best of them. We wanted to have a look at one of our centre midfielders playing wide because, again, we've only got two fit wide players. So if something happened to them and we wanted to play um, any system with a wide man, have we got the, the capability in our squad to cover that? So we're looking at various things to not just win the game today, but to help us in the future. What did we learn? I don't think we learned too much because our mentality wasn't right in that opening period of the game. I don't think it was anything tactical. Yes, we improved from a couple of changes that we made, but I think it had more to do with the, the belief in the group and um, the way we approached the game was much better. No, no Lloyd, is that sort of set up him Yeah, he's had a slight um, discomfort feeling in, um, in his injury, so... Yeah, it's a, a slight setback. How serious it is, I don't know, but uh, obviously he wasn't available today. And Phil, can I feel the bench and get another injury there? Well, he was, uh, I don't know too much about it. He was taking a shot in the warm up and felt a pain in his back, so um, don't know what that is. Did you have to have oh, sorry. Just, uh, Did you have to have arch words at, at half time? Yeah, I think we, we were disappointed. They were disappointed. I was disappointed. I let them know that. I think you have to. Uh, it was way, way below the level that we expect. And the lads responded, to be fair. I thought they responded towards the end of the first half and uh, responded in the second half as well. I thought we were the better team. Had a couple of chances for the game to have turned out differently and um, we kick ourselves now because I think that game was there for us to do better in. If, if you get that sort of response you know, in the coming weeks, you must feel as if you've got enough in this squad. I feel we've got enough in the squad. I don't think I've ever doubted that for a second. I think, should I need to do that? Should I need to say that? I think it should show in the performance how much we want these games, how much we need to do well from the very first minute. And I think that's, um, that's concerning to a degree, but I think that the response from the players was very, very good and the attitude was excellent after about half an hour of that game. And we, we had to show it because we're 2-0 down and it's, uh, it was a difficult match. Dave, just to one Brooklyn on the bench for the first time, obviously that's another sign of the injury problems. I mean, not a talented academy guy you've got coming in, nice for the team tonight. Yeah, nice moment for him just to sample it, see it experience what it's like to be part of the first team I think he's got real ability and uh, good potential for the future it's uh, a small step for him but one I'm sure he'll remember obviously a massive game of the weekend now how important was it that you ended the game you may try and keep that momentum going yeah very much so we know how big this game is I don't think we need to build it up internally um, the lads know the importance of the, the games we have to come We've got to back ourselves to perform better than we did today um, and show to everybody how important the matches are. We did it against Brighton and we got the result. Oh, we're going to need a similar performance. Hopefully you can get any more points in before. Yeah, days are running out. I, I, being honest, I'd probably say it looks doubtful. Um, but never say never. Um, but yeah, I'd probably say we're more hopeful we get a couple of players back who can make a difference from injury rather than signing new players. <laughs> You just got uh, Jack Simpson. Obviously, is Diego Rico okay? Or is that? 
I said before to go, there's a couple of players that were carrying injuries that we need to do pr- protect today so Diego's one of those he's been carrying an injury for a couple of weeks Will his fitness and most fitness affect whether Jack Simpson goes out yeah no Jack will be staying with us um, due to uh, a couple of problems that we have okay thank you thank you cheers